So what I'd like to do is take you all the way back to solving this inequality here. The modulus of x is less than 1. Now you may already know what the answer is straight off the top of your head, but I want to use this okay, uh, to show you how you can write uh, modulus inequalities in a form without the modulus. Okay, So let's say we've got this problem here. And if we were trying to solve this using our method of sketching, what we would do is we would sketch uh, the modulus of x, y equals mod x, which looks like this. Okay, so that's y equals mod x. And then we would sketch y equals 1, which is a horizontal line. And you can see that there are two intersection points here and here. So this point here, uh, the x value of that point will be where y equals x intersects y equals 1, which is just going to be 1. And this is the line where y equals minus x intersects y equals 1. And so minus 1 would be the x value there. OK, so when we're asking where is the modulus of x less than 1, where is it below y equals 1, we are saying, well, it's below it there in that region, okay, between minus 1 and 1. So, what I can write down is that mod x is less than 1 is equivalent to writing down that x is between minus 1 and 1. Those two things mean the same. Okay, so these are actually two equivalent expressions, if you will, or inequalities, let's say, okay? So what you need to think about, and this will come up again, um, if you've looked at binomial expansion um, in second year, well, usually second year material binomial expansion, this comes up again, so uh, make sure you know this, that these two things are equivalent. So let's start playing around with that idea. So if I was then asked, OK, well, how about um, if I did the modulus of x minus 5 is less than 1? OK, for example. Well, what I've done to get from there to there is I've replaced the x with x minus 5. So it stands to reason that if these two things are the same, this and this, then I could just replace the x in here with x minus 5. And these two things should be equivalent. OK, so all I've changed is that the x has become x minus 5 in both of them. Now, with this inequality here, what I can then do is I can add 5 to all three columns, if you will. OK, and so... This is the same as adding 5 to the minus 1, I get 4. The x minus 5 will just become x. And so the 1 gets added 5 and becomes 6. And so this inequality, modulus inequality, has this as its solution. And so you can see there's actually a method here in order to solve basic inequalities using um, this technique. So can we generalize this? OK, so let's say um, I changed this number here instead. So let's say I changed it to mod x is less than 2, say. OK, how does that change things? Well. On my diagram, I'm now looking at mod x and y equals 2. So this will be where x is equal to 2. That's that point there. And this point here will be minus 2. And so where is the modulus graph below y equals 2? Well, it's below it there. So this is equivalent to writing down that x is between minus 2 and 2. So you can see that actually just changing that number on the outside will change those two endpoints on the inequality. So now I know how I can affect this number on the outside. 
okay, and I know how I can affect something on the inside, I would be able to write down that in general then, this inequality here is equivalent to writing down that x minus a is between minus b and b, just as this was between minus 2 and 2. So minus b is less than x minus a is less than b. OK, let's give myself a little bit more space on the board so things don't get complicated. So this is equivalent to this. And then, just as I did up here where I added 5 to all three columns, I'm going to add b to all three columns. So, uh, sorry, adding a to all three columns, rather. I said b, I meant a. So I get a minus b is less than x is less than a plus b. And so this and this are equivalent expressions or equivalent inequalities. Okay? And that's how you can kind of explain it. And this then allows you to then solve basic inequalities like this by writing them directly in this form. Now, you won't be able to solve complicated inequalities doing this, but knowing that that is equivalent to that, okay, could be an important part of an exam question. It could ask you to write it in that particular form, for example, um, or use this concept. So be aware that uh, you can do this, and it's all coming back to that mod x is less than 1 and thinking about it as a modulus inequality with the graph, that this would have to be between the, uh, the x minus a would have to be between the minus b and b, and then adding a to all three columns gets you to the result.